Hello. Have you ever heard people talking about their second cousin once removed and wondered exactly what that means? In this video, we hope to help explain this puzzle. Let's start with a common ancestor. The children of the common ancestor are, of course, brothers and or sisters to each other. Children of each sibling are first cousins. Continue descending on both lines to the next generation. These are second cousins. Children of second cousins are third cousins. Continue descending to the next generation on both lines to find fourth cousins, then fifth cousins, and so on. Let's look at an example. In this chart, William is the common ancestor. His children, Emmeline and Jesse, each have a child. Their children, Ella and Sarah, are first cousins. Ella has a son, Walter. How then are Walter and Sarah related? Sometimes people will call Walter and Sarah second cousins, but they actually are first cousins once removed. Walter, as Ella's son, is one generation distant or removed from that first cousin relationship. Let's look at an example that is a bit more complicated. Here is William again with the next three generations. Look at Walter and his second cousin, John. Walter's daughter, Margaret, is one generation distant from the second cousin relationship. So, she and John are second cousins once removed. Move down another generation to Margaret's son, Robert, who is two generations distant and thus is John's second cousin twice removed. Robert's daughter, Elizabeth, and John are second cousins three times removed. Once you have researched your extended family, you can determine any sort of cousin relationship. Just count the generations from the common ancestor and then the number of generations removed from the cousin relationship when one line adds generations but the other line stops. On the website of the North Carolina Government and Heritage Library, we have a chart that helps you quickly determine cousin and family relationships. All you need to know is the generation from the common ancestor for two people. For example, if one person is one generation from or the child of the common ancestor, look at line one. If the second person is the third generation in descent or the great-grandchild, Look at column three. Go across line one and down column three to the box where the line and the column meet. In this example, the great-grandchild of the common ancestor is the grandniece or grandnephew of the common ancestor's child. This chart can also help you quickly determine cousin relationships. For example, the four times great-grandchild of a common ancestor, line six, and the great-great-grandchild, column four, of the same ancestor, are third cousins two times removed. The cousins chart can be found on our website under genealogy research. Now you can be the family expert on cousins. Thank you and contact us if you have questions.